with sticks is because of the simple fact that it is an extension of your body. So whatever I want to do, the stick will do. But here's the thing we're going over today. We're basically taking different ranges and I'm just going to go stabbing at his head, just thrusting, just like this, and we're just going to parry. You wouldn't do this with a sword, of course. With a sword, you would step and cut. Keep going, come on. We would cut, he would cut, I will cut, he'll cut, okay? So now that changes up the dynamic of the game, but just for right now, we're just working the sticks and he's gonna thrust. What I'm developing here is I'm developing getting my head the hell out of the way, okay? Same thing as with a punch, okay? I fear a stick more than I fear a punch. Well, I fear a knife more than anything, but a stick, a stick is uh, gonna hurt a lot more than a punch will. Alright, so he goes to thrust for my head. I need to work getting this out of the way. He's actually going to go for the head, just like I am doing for him. And we're doing this slow and controlled. This is going to train you for taking punches to the head, okay? We're going to learn how to just parry that out of the way. But we're also getting in that stick work, so if someone does come in, and they get start swinging that stick around, then... I've already been in this situation before, so I've already had this coming at me. All right, so now we're going to move on. This is just a scenario. This is not how it's going to work on the street. We're just training all of these attributes to be able to flow them together at one point so they will work on the street. Just doing this has no other purpose than just being a drill, okay? We're getting a lot from it. We're learning how to use our body mechanics. We're learning how to parry, we're learning timing, coordination, all sorts of stuff that I can mention, but I know a bunch of keyboard warriors are just gonna say it's bullshit, so whatever. You do you, that's cool, we're gonna do this drill. So now we're learning how to change ranges, just like we would change ranges with punching and kicking, right? So now, I'm gonna come into here and I'm going to change this range by coming in, getting a little bit closer. So now we're gonna work who but? That click right there, that is going to be a hit to the hand. Because I don't have time to sit here and just do this. This is just from repetitive motion. This is for me to be able to get myself in a correct position when I have a weapon coming at me, okay? But also, you want to be able to hear that click. What's that click represent? That click represents hitting the hand. So when this comes in, Right there, I'm already hitting that hand. The fight is already halfway over. Whatever he decides to do from this point is on him. If he goes to decide to throw that punch, I'm fine with that. I'll come over to here and take him over to here. Okay, whatever. But from doing this drill, this is how you get good and reactive to situations. It's not always going to work out how you train for it. So you have to find methods to make it feel real. So we flowed from long range. Working all this stuff. Now we're working into closer range with our bud. Make sure we hear that click because that click means we are hitting the hand. Now we're going to take, after we hit for that destruction, boom, we hit to there. Now, hopefully, that broke his hand when we came through. And now you come into here, hit the side of the neck to break him up for a second. Come around and put him in a lock. And this is the restraint portion. To where we can sit there and we can remove his stick as well. Okay, take him down to the ground, do whatever you want to do with him. So now we're going to take this technique. Then from here, this is how it would look. This is to get just the flow. Okay, so he does this. I stop it, I come up in here, I hit, I come around. And that's just learning how to flow around the body. All right, so I'm going to do that in repetitions over and over again until I get comfortable with it. Then I start to make it real, okay? Now we do it out of who button. Here. As we're doing who button, I sit there and say, okay, well, I'm going to hit the hand, boom. That creates that little bit of, oh, where he's going to just loosen up for a second. And I take that moment in time, I smack him right here to break him up. I come into here and I put him in his lock, okay? If he tries to pull anything, all I gotta do is just add a little bit of tension right to here, okay? He's not gonna like it. 
turn the wrist over, flip this out. If I need to, I can break the arm if things get a little bit worse. Whatever the situation calls for. Who knows? But.